Hi everyone, welcome to Basic Science Series. I'm your host, Lokendra Kumar, and today we're going to discuss Staphylococcus. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the important features of this particular genus. We're going to know how you can differentiate between Staphylococcus and Streptococcus. We will also discuss some of the important growth characteristics of this genus. So if you are interested in the videos which are related to microbiology, which are related to bacteriology. I'm going to make a lot of videos. So I want you to please stay tuned and watch all those videos. All right, let's start the topic. All right, so let's start with the topic which is Staphylococcus. Staphylococcus has a lot of uh, different species. We're going to discuss this particular genus here. We will not go into the detail of the all the species here. So in this particular genus, the gram staining profile will be positive. So this organism will show gram positive profile and the bacteria will look like this spherical in shape and they will uh, stain violet because of the crystal violet and because they are gram positive in nature. Talking about the shape, the shape of this organism will be spherical. So you will see spherical structures in the slide if you are doing the gram staining. Next, there will be no endospores in this organism. So if you are trying to do endospore, endospore staining, so you are not going to see those structures. Now next, the important feature of this genus is the catalase enzyme production. So suppose if you have a plate where you have a staphylococcus or any bacteria that you want to differentiate as a strepto or staphylo, so what you can do is you can pick up the isolated colonies using the bacteriological loop and on the slide you will first place one drop or few drops of H2O2, hydrogen peroxide. And then transfer the colony to that slide and try to mix mix it. What you will find is the production of O2. And if you have the production of O2, which is oxygen, you will see the bubble formation. That will indicate the presence of catalase enzyme. So this is how the reaction is going to happen. You'll have H2O2. It will get converted into water and oxygen in the presence of the enzyme catalase and if you have that bubble formation or the production of O2 you will immediately interpret the result as positive. Now if you have two different types of organisms for example if you have streptococcus and staphylococcus catalase positive organism will be staphylococcus and catalase negative will be the streptococcus and further if you do the gram staining what you will see is if the organisms they are arranged in the cluster of grapes or if they are arranged as a chain shape structure you will have the grape structures will be staphylococcus and the chain one will be the streptococcus so cluster of grapes is the important distinct feature of this particular genus All right but when we talk about the the clinical samples in clinical sample you may see pairs, you may see you may see single cell, you may, you may see short chains for this particular organism. Now let's talk about the size. Size of this particular organism, we are talking about the one single cell, will be approximately one micrometer in the diameter. And I have also written the range. Next important point is the salt tolerance this organism is highly tolerant to salt so you can use this property to grow it under high salt concentration now the temperature range i have written here important point is in this particular genus you'll have a lot of different species and one of the important species is the opportunistic pathogen MRSA and what is MRSA i'm sure you all know about MRSA. It is methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus. That is why it's written as MRSA in short MRSA. And it's a huge problem. So this particular genus is very important. Many of the species, they are, uh, they are living freely 
in the environment they are living on our body some of them are potential opportunistic pathogen i have already uh, written the name of that particular pathogenic organism and there are so many features that are important when we when we study staphylococcus so we're going to cover very important features in our next video so i hope you like this video and you're going to like the next one as well so if you like the microbiology, if you like the bacteriology, then please stay tuned to the channel. And with that note, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Take care.